Hello, my name is Professor Rich and this is a video about prepositions. Prepositions are the small linking words in a language. Las preposiciones son las palabras cortas que ayudan a construir un idioma. Words like to, in, at, on, of, about, etc. They often go after a verb and before a noun. A menudo van delante de un verbo y antes de un sustantivo. For example, the book is on the table. The book is on the table. Prepositions can be very difficult because although there are generalizations you can make in translating them, these generalizations can have many exceptions. You can see on screen now the most common prepositions in English with translations in Spanish. These translations are only approximations. What really determines which preposition to use is the verb which goes before it. Estas traducciones no son exactas. Por encima de todo, lo que determina la preposición que se debe utilizar es el verbo que va antes de la preposición. Entonces, cada verbo tiene sus reglas para la preposición que se debe utilizar. One very useful rule to learn is that prepositions are almost always followed by a noun. That means if you want to express a verb after a preposition, you must use the noun form of the verb. In English, the gerund is the noun form of the verb. That is the ing form. Algo que es muy útil saber es que casi siempre después de una preposición va un sustantivo. Así que si quieres expresar un verbo después de una preposición, se debe utilizar la forma ing, porque en inglés esa forma es el sustantivo del verbo y después de una preposición siempre va un sustantivo. For example, I'm interested in traveling. I'm interested in traveling. Traveling, the ing form after the preposition in. Three prepositions which can be very difficult for Spanish speakers are the prepositions at, in, and on. That is because in Spanish those three prepositions are represented by just one word, en. La preposición en de castellano tiene tres traducciones en inglés. At, in y on. Así que puede causar problemas. However, there are some generalizations which help. In normally means inside of. In es como dentro de en castellano. The obvious example is the book is in the box. The book is in the box. 
The book is inside of the box. However, sometimes we use it more creatively, like I'm going on holiday in February. I'm going on holiday in February. On normally means on top of. On is como por encima de en castellano. For example, the book is on the table. The book is on the table. The book is on the table. At is a little more difficult to understand as it doesn't really have rules. We often use at for more conceptual ideas or for moments in time. For example, the train arrives at five o'clock. The train arrives at five o'clock. However, really, the only rule for at is you use at when on or in don't make sense. La única regla para at es utilizarlo cuando on y in no tienen sentido. Another thing which prepositions are used for are phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are verbs constructed of two or more words. Además, se utilizan las preposiciones para los verbos frasales. Los verbos frasales son verbos que se hacen de dos o más palabras. Phrasal verbs should always be learned as new vocabulary with their preposition attached. Se deberían aprender los verbos frasales como vocabulario nuevo con la preposición adjuntada. For example, let's say you encounter a new phrasal verb. Digamos que se encuentre un nuevo verbo frasal. I get on well with him. I get on well with him. This means I have a good relationship with him. Significa me llevo bien con él. O él y yo nos llevamos bien. In this case, you should learn something like to get on well with equals llevarse bien con. Deberías aprenderlos así. Porque ya tienes un cuaderno de vocabulario nuevo, ¿verdad? Without having a lot more time, that's all I can say about prepositions. I'm going to write a blog post with some more detail about this, and you can find that at www.professorrich.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about English, then you can comment them in this video or comment them on the Facebook group. And if I think that it's something people are interested in, I will make a video about it. See you soon.